Hello and welcome back to AGM Learn. Today I'm just going to show you how to create a read more drop down using the accordion block. A lot of you might already know how to do this, but it's something I use all the time. And if you're not really familiar with it, you might not have used it this way. So when we think of an accordion block, a lot of times we might think of this use case. So we use this a lot for like FAQs, things like that. So you might have your question and have it drop out. Um, that's kind of how the accordion block is presented. However, it's really nice to use it for a read more drop down. So basically, if you have a section like this, um, let's say your client gave you like, you know, a ton of copies. So let's say it's like this long. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is like really throwing off my layout. People are just going to be met with this giant wall of text. Um, so what you can do is your decision on where it makes sense to cut it off based on content, visuals, whatever. But go ahead and copy the rest of that text. Make sure this text block is fully at its like, that it doesn't have extra space at the bottom. You don't want it like overlapping. And then you want to add an accordion. And that needs to go right underneath. <clears throat> From here, go into the accordion, delete two of them. You only need one. Change the title to read more or whatever you would want it to say. And then next, you put your remaining text here in the description. You might have to do a little bit of formatting. Um, quick hint, if you needed bullets in here, just do a dash and start typing, and it will actually create the bullets for you. So a dash and then a space because you don't have the option in your toolbar here. Um, okay, <clears throat> so that's done, but these lines, like it, it just doesn't look right in my opinion. So go to design, um, the title. So you can make this whatever you want. Sometimes I do keep it a heading four. Sometimes I change it to a paragraph two so it matches the text above. And then you change your description as needed. In this scenario, I'm going to keep it a paragraph two. Depending, sometimes I might make it smaller, but let's keep it a paragraph two. I always change the width to uh, large. I don't know why you'd want it so skinny. Um, it saves a lot of space making that the widest. And I always change the padding to small. Go back. Um, keep all this unchecked. On dividers, let's turn those off. Gets rid of those lines, saving us some space. The icon. I like to do a plus. I keep it on plus. I change all this. I keep all this the same, but I move the icon placement to the left. Just making it a little more obvious. And I always change row padding to small so it scoots up a bit more. So as you can see, let me save it. Now it looks a little more natural. Now we need to play around with the spacing a bit, but I will show you. So it expands. Bam, you can read more. Um, you will see this is an annoying thing that happens with Squarespace is anytime you have an accordion next to a photo, the photo will expand and zoom, which is crazy. Um, so I have linked... I've made a post showing you how to fix this. I have linked that in uh, this post. So you'll be able to jump over to that one and see how to fix that problem. Um, but yeah, now you have your read more. So let me go into edit. This is where it always gets a little finicky. You don't want, play around with it. Like this to me feels a little too close. You can play around with maybe this is centered instead of vertical. Um, just play around with the spacing. That's always the hardest part. I think that actually looks the best because you want it to feel natural. Um, but yeah, the spacing is always a little bit finicky, just depending. Um, but yeah, play around with the styling, but now you have to read more. And again, I'll show you how to fix this crazy zoom. Um, awesome. I hope you enjoy.